Okay, I'm gonna go over all these pulleys and these bearings, hopefully get a good inspection out of everything. I already don't like what I see. This one's just feels real bad. That one doesn't sound very good. I did spin this one earlier before I washed it and it spun freely and but was very loud. Now it's acting all bound up. I wonder if water got in there. And this one I can't spin. I'm gonna have to it back here. I'll just use a grease drive socket. It spins freely, but I don't really like the sound it's making. Sounds like worn bearings. Blade's still attached, so it spins really well. I mean, there's not excessive slop in it. I might pull the hub out. I might pull the spindle right out of there and check it. Let's see if we can get these off. Ooh, look at that. That got cooked. So this thing stopped. It seized or something for whatever reason. And the, I think the belt rubbed against it till it got so hot, it melted the surface. The belt was shredded when I bought it. And what he said was, it was just an old belt and it just you know gave up. In my experience, the belts usually shred into pieces when something seizes, like an idler. But it spun freely, so I don't know why it would have. I don't know why it would have stopped. Maybe some debris got in there. Maybe a stick got in there. Luckily, I got a new one. Yeah, same story with this. This doesn't sound that great. It's old. It's time to go. Luckily, I got some new goodies. Ooh. So this is stiff, but it's real smooth. It's really cold in the garage today, too. That doesn't that doesn't help. Nice shiny new stuff. I will probably have to adjust that when the belt goes back on. I just snugged them up a little bit, not too terribly tight because I have a feeling I'll need to adjust them a little bit. Okay, let's see about getting this blade off and then getting the hub out. Okay, now that I got the blade off, I can hear this a little bit better. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's just kind of a loud, loud set of bearings. So I think I'll go ahead and replace them. Which means I get to order parts. I couldn't get these off. As I could have predicted, the carriage bolt just spun around in the uh, spindle housing. So what I think we'll have to, I'll have to do is get a screwdriver on the backside, put it in the carriage bolt as a wedge, and then they should come right out. I've done this before, and I'm pretty sure that's what I did. If that doesn't work, I'll just resort to cutting them. All right, so I didn't have any luck getting these off. I uh, 
was probably too hard on them. I used the impact when maybe I shouldn't have. So what I got to do now is take the pulley off the other side, which has to come off anyway. And then I'll uh, j <laughs> jam a screwdriver into the carriage bolt and try once again to gently, gently remove them. That nut is a one and an eighth, by the way. Okay, he didn't want to come off too easily. So I'll give it a good whack. Well, I'll have to get a puller on it, I guess. This one's putting up a fight. So I guess now I'll just try to put some heat to it and then uh, quench it with some WD-40. Got a key there, Woodruff key, and then a spacer for that pulley. So I got to remember that's there. There's the top of the bearing. You can hear them. Of course, pounding on it with a hammer probably didn't help too much. That's okay. I'm getting rid of these. Getting rid of these anyway. I suppose I better get these uh, carriage bolts out. See how that goes. So I'm trying to get this thing off of here. What I'm noticing is that I think the shaft is bent. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there appears to be a substantial amount of run out. Okay, let's check this out. I got my drill on here. Let's check it out. Yeah, definitely looks like it's got some run out to it. I don't know how severe that is though. Maybe it's not a problem. I don't know. I'd hate to put the thing back together and then have it shake, shake the user like crazy or make a bunch of noise or something like that. Okay, fast forward a few weeks. I haven't touched this thing. I've been struggling to get these off. I got this guy off by uh, using my screwdriver trick, I stab a screwdriver uh, on the square shank of the carriage bolt and just drive it in with a hammer, and then I was able to back this out. But I'd done some other things too. I added some heat to it, and I tried <laughs> drilling out the, the carriage bolt, and I eh, all I did was make a mushroom out of it because my drill bits are worn out. But somehow my screwdriver trick got it out. I tried that on this one. Uh, it's not working. I got it to turn a little bit. So I'm just gonna throw in the towel and get the old angle grinder out. I was hoping to salvage these nice carriage bolts and these, these nuts. I like the, uh, the flats on the nuts rather than using a washer. But uh, it's no big deal, I'll just lop them off. Okay, so I was able to grind them off in about, oh, five minutes. Um, 
having the shoulder on the nut helped a lot because I could keep the grinder above that shoulder and not cut into this thing too much. I really was trying to protect that. Uh, carriage bolt still in there. All I got to do is get a punch and knock it out. Then I put a uh, new carriage bolt with a wing nut on here to keep the, keep the hub from falling out once I got everything out. Worked pretty good.